each time you begin a new month, you begin a new sequence of next steps. As you will recall from other videos, write checks, transfer funds, reconcile, and reports and graphs can be done at any time during the month. Those are functions that you can access whenever you need them. Anything that comes in what I call this hairpin with next step is a preset sequence. As you can see in the lower right hand corner of this screen, we are at the beginning of a month. The last offering posted was in the prior month. We're now in January. Over here on the left, we know what month we're actually working in. And the next step for week one, two, three, four, and five for some months. Um, it's going to stay as next, the next step is going to remain start new offering until you tell Jewel that you have entered all the offerings for that month. Once all offerings have been noted, have been posted to Jewel, and you have told Jewel that the last offering of the month has been posted, the next step changes to Remit to Conference. After Remit to Conference, we're going to just say OK and accept that check as, no, we don't want to print it, just want to accept it. If I were to say no, then my next step would be send remittance to conference. This is the one time when you may not be able to do other functions. Jewel wants to make sure that as soon as you have sent that, as soon as you have actually written that remittance check, that the very next thing you do is send the remittance report so that it actually agrees with the check that you have just posted. The next step is make budget allocations. After budget allocations are made, then the next step it will automatically go to is bank reconciliation. I'm going to say no to this right now just so you can see the next step would be reconcile. At any time, even though it automatically pops up to the next step, it actually opened make budget allocations. Note that I could say no, I didn't want to do it then. When it pops up to reconcile bank statements, I can actually say no, I don't want to do that. We do highly recommend that you do bank reconciliations before you close the end of the month. That's because any checks or deposits that have been posted incorrectly can actually be edited because the month is still open. If you choose to go to bank reconciliation and cancel and when that asks you, you have not reconciled all accounts, would you like to continue on to the next month without reconciling? And if you say yes here, what will happen is that any adjustments will be made in the following month. Once bank reconciliations have been done or have been bypassed, then the next step is print monthly reports. Monthly reports are actually defaulted into the system. If you ever want to edit what reports actually print, you can go to Maintenance and Properties and to the Reports section. These are the monthly reports that are defaulted. Incidentally, if there were other reports you would like to, for instance, every time you enter an offering, if you would like weekly reports, you could actually select Offering Reports here and then go through the Add process and say that you would, for instance, like to print a contribution report summary or a contrib contribution report detail every time you entered an offering. If you were to do that, oh, I forgot to put in a time frame period. Uh, time period can be current offering, this month to date, last month, 
There are any number of things. Normally you would put current offering and say OK. But I digress slightly there. This is also where you can request quarterly reports, fiscal year reports, or calendar year reports. The only ones that are defaulted in when you load, when Jewel is loaded onto your computer are monthly reports and calendar year end reports, which of course are the receipts. We'll go back and look at monthly reports. The monthly reports that are printed here uh, for this church, now these are not the default. Jewel actually defaults in Financial Summary Summary, where I went in and selected, since this church has parent and sub accounts, I went in and I deleted the Financial Summary Summary reports and replaced it with Financial Summary Detail reports for the last month, which means the current month that just closed, and this fiscal year to date. So this is where you could add or delete monthly reports. If you make any changes, be sure that you say OK, and then you can select Print Monthly Reports. Once you have printed monthly reports, then the next step is to make a local backup. The next step after you have printed your monthly reports is backup data. This is the local backup to your USB or to your uh, CD. Once you have selected Make Backup, it says if you haven't already, insert your removable backup media. Jewel database will be copied to and it tells you that backup path that you set in maintenance and properties and the general tab. I'm going to say OK. It takes a matter of seconds and that backup has been made to that thumb drive. Next step then is to send backup to the conference. Now this doesn't actually send it to the conference. This sends it to a Jewel server with a designated place, I should say it sends it to the designated position for Georgia Cumberland Conference churches on the Jewel server. So this backup is sent to the Jewel server to the conference designated section so that it's preserved with and saved with Georgia Cumberland Conference church backups. Once you have selected that send backup to conference. This is not a terribly fast internet here. It takes a few minutes to... S what I want you to look at in the meantime is notice before that final backup is sent it still says January 2014. That's the month we've been working in. Notice that as soon as that conference backup is sent that date will pop forward to the new month. Say OK, and there it has changed to February. Now you know that you're really in February. And the next step sequence starts again with Start New Offering.